Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to find anarchist primary sources online. So you too can be a nerd like me and read random things from the 19th century for fun because you've got nothing better to do and it's, it's cool and interesting and you should do it. Anyway, uh, so perhaps the best known website is the Anarchist Library. The Anarchist Library has texts from both uh, history and the modern world, so it's a very uh, useful uh, archive of sources. It's very easy to use. Um, you just go to the search bar, type in the author you want. I'm looking for David Graeber, RIP. I click his name, and now I can see everything they have by him. So I'm going to look at bullshit jobs. Uh, one of the good things about the Anarchist Library is you can download things in the file format of your choosing. So you can read uh, Dead Anarchists in EPUB if you want on your phone. Uh, it also has uh, other versions for different languages, which is really uh, good. And they've recently added a Korean Anarchist Library, uh, so that's, that's neat. Uh, the other main website is libcom.org, so let's say I want to learn about uh, anarcho-syndicalism. I go to the tags, click anarcho-syndicalism, scroll through, and I'm like, hell yeah, I want to read Gaston Laval's Collectives in the Spanish Revolution, one of the best sources on the topic. I open the PDF, and now I'm learning about libertarian communism. Uh, if you want to be more hardcore and look at original uh, primary sources in the form of newspapers, then you should go to the list of digitalized anarchist periodicals. Click uh, the paper you want. I'm going to open Mother Earth. And now I'm reading Mother Earth, which was uh, created by Emma Goldman. It was an important uh, journal, published a lot of good texts. Some weird texts, but yeah. Uh, let's say I want to look at another newspaper, go to La Revolte. I hope I'm saying that right. Apologies, French people, if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, open the PDF. And this is what anarchist primary sources look like. Pretty cool. I have no clue what it's saying, because I, I, don't, I, I don't read French. I want to learn, but it's difficult. Uh, another good uh, source is the Internet Archive. So let's say I want to look at Bakunin's collected works in French, even though I, I can't read French. One day, one day, I, I, will, I will read Bakunin in French. Uh, and now I've got the um, scan. So a lot of uh, academic like university libraries uh, scan obscure books and upload them to the Internet Archive. So it's a really good way to find uh, difficult books that it's hard to get elsewhere, especially, you know, really old ones. And you can also get it in the file format of your choosing. So that, that's neat. Now, if you want to feel like a historian who spends all their time in the archive, then you should go to International Institute of Social History, which is one of the main uh, archives for anarchism that historians use. Let's say you want to find pics of Malatesta, or you search his name. And boom, you're looking at him with a moustache. Very obscure pick. Not many people know of this pick. I do. No, no reason why. Uh, but let's say you're like, I want to see Malatesta with other kinds of facial hair. Well, you scroll down, and now you're looking at Malatesta once he grew his beard. He was better with beard. I, I think we should agree, agree on that point. Now let's say you want to see someone else. You search Max Netlau Papers, which is one of the main uh, collections of primary sources that uh, historians use. Click that. Scroll down. And go to that, order and request, and now you can see all the things they have. Let's go to uh, content list, and look, loads of primary sources that have been scanned by nice uh, archivists uh, for you. And you can now read loads of primary sources. Uh, almost all of them won't be in English, because um, most of the movement uh, spoke other languages, were from other parts of the world. I am English, and you know that's something I have to kind of live with uh, every day. We all have flaws, and uh, that, that's mine. Um, so let's say you want to click a click a source, you just open it, and now you're looking at a scan. Uh, a lot of the sources are going to be uh, handwritten, uh, 
this one isn't, but a lot of them are, and uh, they can be really difficult to to read because a lot of them have really bad like cursive handwriting. And that's like one of the main challenges of doing archival work is just like reading people's really bad handwriting. But luckily, this one it's all uh, printed out, and so it's legible. Now you might be thinking. I don't read loads of other languages. How can I read obscure primary sources? Well, luckily for you, there are several websites where people have uploaded uh, translations. Um, so this is um, the Institute for uh, Anarchist Theory and History, and they have a whole bunch of Nesta Macno uh, all in one place uh, and the various debates around the platform which is really useful. So I'm like, yeah, I want to read about revolutionary discipline. Now I can. Perhaps the uh, best site is the Libertarian Labyrinth, uh, run by uh, Sean Wilbur, who's uh, doing loads of really good stuff translating things. So I can just scroll through all his translations of obscure texts I didn't know existed until I uh, went on his blog. And go to the Bakunin part and scroll down. I'm like, yeah, I want to read Adahima Schwitzgerbel. I, I hope I said that right. Apologies, Schwitzgerbels, if, if I said it wrong. Uh, another good source is uh, the Kate Sharpley Library. They have uh, a lot of pamphlets uh, they've released over the years of some kind of more hard to find stuff, uh, which is uh, really valuable. Uh, if you don't want to order a pamphlet, they've also uploaded a bunch of different texts uh, onto their website itself. Um, so I can go here, scroll down, like, what do I want to learn about? And I'm like, I want to learn about what some people said about Chinese anarchists. And I click it, and I'm reading what a what, uh, primary source about, about that. Pretty cool. Uh, another good website is Forgotten Anarchism. Uh, the, uh, this website's good because they've uh, translated a lot of women in particular. So I want to read uh, Millie Whitcock Rocker, who was uh, Rudolf Rocker's uh, partner, and sh everyone should know her, but unfortunately uh, they don't. Uh, this is a text she wrote about creating um, women's unions and kind of women-only groups uh, within the uh, anarcho-syndicalist movement, and that was cool. Um, another uh, really good website is uh, Robert Graham's uh, website. He uh, is the editor of um, one of the main series of anthologies of anarchist primary sources, uh, which is really worth uh, checking out, link in the description. Uh, but he also has a blog where he uploads a lot of um, sources uh, that are otherwise hard to find. Sometimes they're mirrors from other sites, uh, but other times they're kind of, you can you can only get them on the website. And it's, uh, it's useful, there's a, there's a lot of really good stuff on there. So I hope everyone found this uh, enjoyable, that now they know where to find random anarchist primary sources online. Go exploring, see what you find. It can be really uh, worthwhile and uh, mind expanding. If you like this video, please support me on Patreon and follow me on Twitter. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.